Today we're making ornaments and gift tags with DIY paint and the new frames molds and letter molds from Iron Orchid Design. I got up at 6.30 this morning so I could get to the store before it opens so I can play with the new IOD. Maybe if I start getting up early and I come to the store before anybody else gets here, I can create. Can you relate? IOD molds are known for their incredible detail. Dusting them with cornstarch will make sure that they release easily. I feel like I get more done after everybody goes to sleep or before anyone wakes up. I'm gonna get the new IOD out and we're gonna make some Christmas ornaments. I don't know why they put the, the new molds at the very top. You have to get up on a ladder to get it and it's new. They should be down at eye level. Plus this is not a good camera angle for me. This is the new IOD, it's the framed mold. I'm gonna get a package of the clay. I've got the molds. IOD paper clay is super easy to work with. It dries overnight and you can release it from the mold as soon as you are done. Use your fingers or some kind of device like an old credit card to remove the excess clay and then pull the mold immediately out. Glue your molds to a surface as soon as you pull them out. If you're not ready to use them, you can store them in the freezer. This will prevent your molds from curling up around the edges as they dry. One of the things I love about paper clay is that it doesn't dry immediately. So if you pull it out of the mold and you don't like it, you can just smush it back up and start again. I wanted to show you, I had this cute idea for paint brushes to hold up our IOD transfers, but the paint brushes keep coming out of the wall and the transfers end up down here on the ground. I always argue with my dad, form over function, no function over form. So today when he gets here, I'm going to have him fix this. Now we need the paint and the big top. We're going to grab the big top before the battery dies. I want Monet's garden. This one right here, it's like a deep, deep green. We are going to use the bohemian blue, the kissing booth, Monet's garden, mermaid tail right here. I want to use jewel tones because I want it to look boho. We're going to use the golden rule wax. You also need a sealer like Big Top or Liquid Patina. You need the clay, you need the molds, you need the paint colors and the gilding wax and we're going to get started. For this project we're not going to glue our molds down to another surface so I am using painters tape to keep them flat as they dry overnight. Then drop down through the block. I let these dry overnight and now I'm applying DIY paint to the surface. DIY paint is clay based, it's just 9 ingredients and it's 5 times more pigmented than other paints. This means that it's thick and you can water it down 10 to 1 and still get excellent coverage. And in this case, watering the paint down will help you get into all the little details of the molds. Hey, do you want a break from cutting wood pieces today? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, let me show you something. See the paint brushes that keep falling off the wall? Yeah. I was thinking that we just put up like fence board right here and then there'll be something more substantial to put those paint brushes into. Do you think that'll work? Uh, you mean to like put strips? Or? Yeah, put some, put some hard wood instead of the drywall so that the paint brushes are more secure in the wall. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Okay. I'm using Farm Fresh Old 57 Mermaid Tail, Bohemian Blue, and Little Black Dress. It doesn't work. Uh, they break off. I mean, because I'm, I'm getting into wood. 
beyond the drywall. Because there's, there's a, a plywood behind it. Yeah. So I run them all the way into the wood, but I don't know why this broke unless somebody put some pressure on it. <laughs> We are using the easy casting resin for the letter portion of this project. I have had zero success making these with the paper clay. If you have figured out a way to do so, let me know in the comments. This is my favorite resin to use. It's super easy and we sell it on the website. Follow the instructions on the box. The main thing to know is to stir the two parts together until they go from cloudy to clear or the resin will never dry. Also, you're supposed to wear gloves, which I am not doing. It's pretty challenging to pour the resin in these tiny letters and not have overspill, but you can see that the letters come out easy and you can easily tear off the excess. We sell these alphabet molds on my website. They come in capital and lowercase letters. Bailey, what's up? What's up, cute girl? What's up? Your mommy misses you. Your mommy misses you. She misses you. And you too. Oh, oh. Now I'm using our gold gilding wax and a tiny artist brush to get into the details of the molds. This wax is super pigmented. A little goes a long way. These letter molds are a great way to personalize your holiday gifts. I'm taking each one and giving it a coat of little black dress. I use my spray bottle full of water to encourage the paint to get down into all the nooks and crannies of the molds. Then I tried mixing one part paint and one part water, and this really helped get the paint down into all the details. This is the color Monet's Gardens. You can see it's going on translucent, so I just let it dry and applied a second coat. Now, we're gonna put on the waxes. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the dark wax. I'm gonna use the shipwrecked wax and the white wax to get into all of the details. But a fun little trick that I learned from my retailers: DIY paint is easily reactivated with moisture or water. So when you put on the wax, it can pull up some of the paint. After you get the paint down, you want to put down either liquid patina or the big top. You put that down, you let it dry, and then you can wax over it and it creates a surface that's not so porous and you can really get in there and get all the wax without reactivating the paint. I'm applying big top to all my molds and the tiny letters and letting that dry before applying the wax. I wouldn't necessarily do this with a big piece of furniture, but because the surface area is so little and it would be really easy to rub back the paint, I'm doing it here. Now I'm applying the shipwrecked wax over little black dress. Because I put down the big top first and I let it dry, I can apply a lot of wax, work it way down into all of those details, and wipe off the excess easily. And now I'm applying the same shipwreck wax over Kissing Booth for a totally different look. The Kissing Booth is coming across as red, but it is a deep pink. And this is black wax over Monet's Garden. And this is dark wax over white swan. Generally, it's really challenging to put dark wax over white paint, 
but because of the big top, it doesn't look super dirty. The last one is white wax over farm fresh. Dad, what's your favorite transfer? You mean these? Yeah, which one's your favorite? Have you ever used them before? No. No, you haven't. I don't even Stop. know what to do. And there you have it, folks. Put it off for another I'm using E6000 to glue down the letters to the frames. You could also use Aileen's tacky glue. This glue should be used in a well-ventilated area. It's also helpful to use a toothpick so you don't get it on your fingers. I'm gluing a brass jewelry finding to the back so I can thread a ribbon through and hang them up. You could also hot glue a ribbon to the back. Okay. I'm using dark gray vintage seam binding that I found at an estate sale. I think black velvet ribbon would also be super pretty. How much what? How much wood have you cut this week? More than enough. <laughs> you might be wondering why I'm showing you this. I always like to have a good record of the different things that I create. Whether you have a YouTube channel, you're selling things, or you're just creating for fun. I'm just going to walk you through the process of how I do this. I've got my whiteboard, I've got my phone, I've got some props, and then I usually look to the Sundance catalog for inspiration. I put one of the ornaments on a box and wrapped it up. And now I'm just going to take my phone, I'm gonna go to my, my camera, and I am going to put it in portrait mode. That kind of blurs out the background and makes everything look really, really cool. And I am going to take some pictures, playing around with the different angles, and I will edit the photos right on my phone. I'll go to from natural light to studio light that makes it a little brighter and then if you hit this icon up here and then again down here I really like the vivid filter that makes it brighten up a lot and I can tap on what I want to be in focus and everything else will be out of focus. I'm just gonna go to town and take probably 15 to 20 different angles and then you will see them that's what you see at the beginning and at the end of all of my videos. Bailey, what are you doing? How you been sitting? What are you doing? What are you doing? You, doing? you saying hi to the customers? What are you looking for? You gotta take her. To the are you having fun? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking good. Did you just say the board is terrible? <laughs> yeah. It looks good, Grandpa. It's crooked. It's crooked. It doesn't look crooked to me. Looks good. And I don't need to be out chasing around, bury these bones deep into the ground and stay. To find the clay, the molds, or all of the other fun products we sell in our shop in Encinitas, California, click the link below or come see us in person.
is in the I think they turned out really good, and I did get a lot done. Nobody is at the store yet, and so I think I'm just gonna start coming here early. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna make Christmas ornaments this year. I think these turned out really good. They're perfect gift tags. They could be keychains. They could be all kinds of things. I think my favorite one is this one right here. Let me know which one is your favorite. They are, they are so cute and I cannot wait to get out the next mold, the jewelry mold, and start making stuff with that. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store, click the link below. Thanks for watching. Open sky never on my Christmas is coming, Christmas is coming, ooh, 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 ooh.